Hello and welcome to TechEd LLC. Today we're going to be taking a look at SketchUp 2013. It was once a Google product and now it's a Trimble product. Your first welcome screen here asks you to choose a template. So you'd click on this icon here. I typically gravitate towards product design and woodworking in inches. It seems to have the best uh, format for drawing small objects. It's found about halfway down the list, by the way. So just click on that, then hit Start Using SketchUp. So here we are on our empty screen, and you'll see that there's some axes here. And these help you orient yourself so you know which way you're kind of faced. Uh, typically remember that your blue line should be faced in the upward direction, and that'll help you out. First tool that I want to show you would be the square tool here, a rectangle tool. You can click on this and when you're going to come down to the screen just place your cursor in the middle of the screen, press the left mouse button down and draw out a square or a rectangle, doesn't matter what size right now, and just let go. You'll see that the square has uh, placed itself on the screen and it has this dark gray interior on the top and it has a lighter or white pack on the bottom so you can kind of see the inside and outside of a piece front and back if you will. The next part that I want to show you is how to take this rectangle here and bring it into 3D and in other programs this can be quite challenging but in SketchUp it's really simple. There's something called a push-pull tool so click on this icon up here and hover your mouse over the top of the rectangle. Notice the shade changes and you get all these dots on the surface. That means that that surface is eligible to be pushed or pulled. In some circumstances you won't see this these dots appear and it's telling you that it's not eligible to be pushed or pulled. So I'm going to again push my left mouse button here and I'm going to move my mouse up and you'll see that it <coughs> extrudes this object into 3D from that flat surface that it once was. Now you can orient around, so speaking of orientating, there's a, a button up here called Orbit. So I can click on Orbit and I can come down here to my object and with my left mouse button I can push this back and forth. There is a shortcut in using this. Once you start building something you'll be using the Orbit tool an awful lot and I don't want you to get in the habit of going up here to click on it because you're actually wasting quite a bit of time. I'll go back to my rectangle tool here and draw another rectangle and now you can see that if I wanted to orient I would have to go up here but watch what happens to my mouse what I'm going to do is actually push down on the wheel of the mouse and a lot of people don't know that the wheel is actually a button as well so if I push down on that wheel see how my cursor has changed in the middle of that box so while holding the wheel down, I'm going to move my mouse left and right, and I can move it up and down. So you can see that you can move yourself around really easily with this. Alright, so back to the push-pull tool. I can now push this up, or I can even push this down and hollow out the surface. Referencing is used an awful lot in SketchUp. If you're trying to get that hole to go all the way through. I can take this cursor and push this up till it's to the surface. Now if I reference it off a line it knows that I wanted it flat with that. Now I actually have a complete hole through the box. You can do other things as well. You can grab a circle, circle tool and draw a circle onto the object and you can push pull that circle. What you can't do is push pull a curved surface. See how I don't have the dotted lines and I actually get the no symbol right by the cursor there. This means that I can't do anything with it. I can move it this way but I can't change anything here. You can also pan with this. And pan is the hand tool up here. And this means moving your mouse in and out. Sorry, moving left and right and up and down or whatever way you want. The other thing is zoom, and you can zoom by rolling the mouse backwards or rolling it forward. One thing to note, if I wanted to zoom on this corner, move your cursor over to that corner and now roll it on your mouse. It focuses on that corner. 
and I'm rolling out. If I wanted to zoom in this corner, I just place my cursor there and roll in and out. So there's the basics of how to use SketchUp with the rectangle tool, the circle tool, your pan tool, and your orbit tool. There's a lot more to learn, so come back for this next video. Thanks.